Hey, this is Gadget MJ. Um, next series we're talking about is the uh, uh, creation of a roof for a cabin. Uh, the uh, this is a log cabin theme, and we're looking at the objective of this uh, tutorial is to build splines for uh, an, an old looking cabin. And this one's really easy. Um, you can see in front of me a cabin. It's actually located in. Uh, in Canada, Atlanta, Canada, and a place called Boys Town, the Woodsman Museum, and the compliments of them. Anyways, I'm going to go into uh, four viewports here, and um, for reference only, um, we've already gone through uh, uh, in our channel. You can take a look at the wall construction. Now we're actually looking at the uh, the uh, roof construction for for this cabin um, to be able be able to. Uh, um, uh, manipulate and uh, assemble logs and uh, put on a good roof. Some of the terms that I'd like to uh, to uh, talk about um, is uh, the term uh, um, fascia and soffit. And it's one of the uh, most, uh, um, I don't know, uh, uh, not um, it's, it's not a technical term, but it's a construction term. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, move this aside, this uh, this uh, particular uh, um, cabin here, and get uh, moved to uh, so you can see a blank space, and I'm going full screen. And one of the things I want to mention is that uh, um, is that when you're building um, any type of building, any architectural building. Um, um, you have a standard type frame, so we'll just make a box here. And in that box, you'll have a roof structure. So the emphasis today is on the roof structure itself for a typical cavern. So I'm just going to put a placeholder graphic right here, a um, box. And uh, so typically, um, to do a simple uh, roof, one could take the same box. Um, and make a copy of it. Set, uh, hold down the shift key, go in the vertical direction here, the right direction here. Let's, let's direction. And uh, create a roof structure. Okay. So typically, um, a roof is extends out further. It's called a soffit. So in this case, what we're going to do is collapse this to an edible poly, the roof, and tape the vertices at the top, okay, and just scale them in one direction, okay. This is typical for a beginner 3D, where the roof line here is the same as the walls, outside walls, which is not um, right. Um, you have to have some overhang for uh, for rain and, and, and basically a sunshade even. So typically you scale, okay, your to have a faucet or soffit rather at the ends. And both ends you have a slight um, uh, end soffit. Another mistake is that you've got a peak and usually you never have a peak. So we go into uh, if you had F4, go in perspective mode here, and uh, zoom in here. Um, you typically take this edge, okay, and you could what's called chamfer the edge, and that's a typical, um, you know, type roof construction where and that particular highlighted um, polygon right there, the red polygon, is a fascia. So, um, and sometimes it's angled, but a lot of times it's it's straight. It actually gets rotated so that get it here not locked. Um, it, it actually gets rotated. Oops, I'm in edge mode. For this edge. And actually get rotated vertically. So that's another um, so that's the fascia. <coughs> so those are typical uh, features of a typical building. In our case we're dealing with the cabin. It's, it's quite easy to create the same details. And I left this on. But You've got a bunch of logs hanging out, overhanging as a soffit. This one's an old tin 
actually a galvanized zinc roof and uh, um, this is a replica of a cabin with a nice porch detail but what we're going to do in the front view and we'll just move this one out of the way is we're going to use splines again Oops, just gonna move it. so because the cabin is not very uh, proportional and not very straight we're going to show you just by hand by using the line tool corner to corner method we're going to do a cross section okay of a cabin but now that you're clear on the safe so soffit and fascia you get to understand where I'm going with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to model it okay pretty rough and add a couple circles where the logs are supposed to be and they could be a little bit random 3 max changes the colors of these So those are going to be my overhanging logs to create this cabin. Now, the most important thing to remember with this is that when you grab the um, to the uh, the objects, you want these are you want to be able to attach, okay, all the other ones as one huge spline. When you do that, what it does, I'll go in perspective mode here, it creates a cross section of your roof line. And then all you gotta do is add what's called the extrude modifier in this column. Add an amount, and there's your log cabin roof. Again, make sure there's an overhang, and then there's a soffit, <coughs> and that's your log cabin. The problem is, Okay, with this type of method, it's not that it's bad. Is that look at all the polygons? Okay, and uh, we're gonna make a copy of this just to compare it later on. We're gonna move that over and make sure we call it roof. Okay, and uh, we gotta extend the wall up too from this part to match. But while we're here, just want to show you that you can collapse this to an edible a poly. Okay, by right clicking, right -click, make sure it's edible poly. Grab these end polygons, and these are the end of the logs. And you'll notice on the cabin photo, I'll show you in a minute, and all you got to do is move those out, and then you've got your extended logs. And you can do that the other side too. So if you go to the picture, show you uh, the logs extended out okay and just to give you a log feel and of the cabin now again if you put an F4 on it's just pretty complicated so we're gonna just move this out of the way um, actually we're gonna delete uh, yeah no we'll leave that I'll just move it out of the way here And just delete that. Bring this one back. So, as I recall in the uh, um, previous tutorial, if you go into line mode um, and click on show end result, you can actually go in, go into spline mode, and pick your splines. Okay? Just move this one out of the way here first. Pick these little splines and delete these. And so even so, even while you are in uh, extrude mode, with in the modifier stack, if you go into uh, um, spline mode um, with the show end result, you can actually see everything. But anyways, we're going to turn extrude off for now. Go back to the front viewport. And uh, so I got a few things to show you. Um, and uh, we're going to just move this, this 3D object, oops, this one here. 
next one's here out of the way. So if you look at this fly mode, um, I have no logs again. So what I'm going to do now is add a few more um, circles. Okay. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is add n-gons. Okay. The n-gons are not quite as detailed as a circle, but the default size, if you just go up to eight, it's a really good lower polygon circle and you'll notice it logs okay and you can just copy those and then you can scale a few expand a few we're just gonna put a few up here and we're gonna scale a few up and down just to make a little randomness I want to scale the roof. Another thing you might want to do um, is attach them again. So go under line and attach these. And just randomize the shapes of it. <coughs> and all you got to do is go into vertex mode um, for each one of these um, particular uh, splines. And you can actually go in and, and edit um, the splines and, and shapes. And with the attach off, you can go in and just move, just make them a little bit, they don't look so 3D ish, I guess, primitive ish. Just move them a bit. And you'll notice from the photo that logs aren't very round, um, especially the old logs. So again, turn your extrude back on, and voila, you got less polygons, except for this one here, which I added a few more by accident. But again, um, uh, you gotta watch the extrude in certain places, but if you look at the few other ones, it's, it's, it's actually quite lower. And that's all you need for a log. Anyways, that's the uh, roof cabin truss, um, I guess, log cabin um, setup. Um, Gadget MDA and uh, our next series will be on uh, texturing um, the roof shingles and the uh, some porch elements. Thank you.